Earth Layers The Earth is made up of three main layers, the crust, the mantle, and the core. The crust is the outermost layer where we live, and it is the thinnest. Below the crust is the mantle, which is made of hot, melted rock. The core is the innermost layer, made mostly of metal, and is very hot. These layers help scientists understand earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Let's read the whole text one more time. The Earth is made up of three main layers, the crust, the mantle, and the core. The crust is the outermost layer where we live, and it is the thinnest. Below the crust is the mantle, which is made of hot, melted rock. The core is the innermost layer, made mostly of metal, and is very hot. These layers help scientists understand earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Questions time! Questions 1. What is this text about? A. The Earth's layers. B. How scientists study the Earth. C. Earthquakes and volcanoes. Let's read the question and the answers again. What is this text about? A. The Earth's layers. B. How scientists study the Earth. C. Earthquakes and volcanoes. The correct answer is A. The Earth's layers. Question 2. The core is the innermost layer, made mostly of metal, and is very hot. Which information from the text shows this is true? A. The mantle is made of hot, melted rock. B. The core is below the crust and mantle. C. The core is the hottest part of the earth. Let's read the question and the answers again. The core is the innermost layer, made mostly of metal, and is very hot. Which information from the text shows this is true? A. The mantle is made of hot, melted rock. B. The core is below the crust and mantle. C. The core is the hottest part of the earth. The correct answer is C. The core is the hottest part of the earth. Question 3. Why do scientists study the Earth's layers? A. To understand earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. B. To find where the mantle starts. C. To learn about animals living underground. Let's read the question and the answers again. Why do scientists study the Earth's layers? A. To understand earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. B. To find where the mantle starts. C. To learn about animals living underground.
The correct answer is A. To understand earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Question 4. What would happen if the crust of the earth cracked? A. Earthquakes or volcanoes might occur. B. The core would cool down. C. The mantle would turn solid. Let's read the question and the answers again. What would happen if the crust of the earth cracked? A. Earthquakes or volcanoes might occur. B. The core would cool down. C. The mantle would turn solid. The correct answer is A. Earthquakes or volcanoes might occur. Question 5. How is the crust different from the core? F. The crust is thin and solid, while the core is made of metal and very hot. B. The crust is hotter than the core. C. The crust is the innermost layer. Let's read the question and the answers again. How is the crust different from the core? F. The crust is thin and solid, while the core is made of metal and very hot. B. The crust is hotter than the core. C. The crust is the innermost layer. The correct answer is F. The crust is thin and solid, while the core is made of metal and very hot. Well done, everyone! 